What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and a, a big video. That's really what it is here. The Super Bowl against Washington football team. The 14-2 Desperados take on the 8-8 eight eight Washington football team in Miami. They're only a 79 overall. Shockingly, it isn't Chase Young that's a superstar X Factor. It's Foyasadi Oluokun. So a little bit weird with that. Will this be the final episode of the series? You know, I don't know. I don't know. We have, like, what? Two months about to go until Madden 22. We'll obviously have new series going on with that game. So if you guys are not subscribed already, definitely make sure to subscribe for that. But I don't know what's happening with Desperado's franchise. I know the game's a little stale at this point. It's been out for so long. But that is not the focus of today's video. The focus of today's video is winning the Super Bowl. Taking down Washington football team and hoisting the Lombardi with Matthew Schmidt and Edward Teague and Jameel Holloman and all the great players you've seen on this team this year. I say great players, uh, not Edward Teague. That dude sucks. But everybody else, if you guys are not already subscribed to my second channel, by the way, upload MLB The Show gameplay there daily, playing actual people and actually being decent at the game. So check out the second channel. I know a lot of you guys don't know about that. Many of you don't know about my Twitch channel as well. I stream pretty much every night, twitch.tv slash bangle. So be warned. I know I have so many guys that come and say, oh, I didn't know you streamed on Twitch. I didn't know you uploaded to your second channel or you had a second channel. Check them out. The links are in the description. And let's win a Super Bowl. I mean, that's, that's the focus. Let's get it done. Wait, is that Dwayne Haskins? Is their quarterback Dwayne Haskins in this scenario? In this make-believe world? Did Dwayne Haskins develop and take his team to the Super Bowl? He sure did it. He's an 83 overall. Doesn't look to be anything crazy. They have playoff Lenny. Leonard Fournette's out here. Nick Bowden. Scary Terry. Bob Claxton. He's got a 1960s receiver name. Traquan Smith. More of a modern day name. And then Joey Zimmerman. They have Chase Spencer. A 68 overall tight end starting. Andrew Stewart, D'Angelo Darby, Brian Allen, Brandon Sheriff is pretty good. Sheriff, Chuma Idoga, not a great offensive line. Josh Sweat is on here as an 80 overall. Chase Young's a monster. We knew that was going to be the case. Matt Ioannidis is still around. They lost to Ron Payne. They don't have Jonathan Allen. Uchenna Nwosu is now in Washington. Ruben Foster, of course, Foyasadi Aluakun is an 85 overall superstar X Factor. Carlton Davis, Josh Jackson, Deshaun Davis, Kendall Fuller is now playing safety, and they have Landon Collins still back there. Wow, this team is bad. How am I going to find a way to lose this one? We've lost Super Bowls before in some of my franchise series. I think in Jacksonville Jaguars franchise, we did lose the Super Bowl. Not to this team, though. There's no shot. Oh, we're going to the left side of the field. There's Edward Teague. You got to outrun him. Nwosu's very fast. It is third and two. Do we run the ball with Eddie Teague here? I don't really fear the defensive line, but I know with Aluakun at linebacker, it might be tough. Ioannidis, Chase Young on that left side. We're going to try and run it anyway. Up the middle, and there's space. There's space for Teague. He's got 10 or 11 in the first down. That's open enough, right? Yep, Alfonso Peoples with the catch. Of course, the brother of Dennis Peoples. We've built that storyline up for a little while now. Ended up going out and acquiring him, making that happen. Making the Peoples brothers connection a reality. As we go underneath, throwing right into Kendall Fuller. Big time interception. I don't know what the thought process was there. Haven't played Madden in probably close to two weeks. And I think that showed on that occasion. I don't know. That didn't even look open at all. That was uh, not good. <laughs> I really don't have much else to say. They're going deep. Orlando Jones got stacked. If the throw is accurate, that's probably a completion. They're going deep. Townsend, take it back. Knocked out of bounds. Throw is a little long anyway. It's second and ten. Leonard Fournette has not had a carry yet, I don't believe. I'm waiting for that at any moment, but they're not going to do it on second and ten. They'll opt to pass instead. 
and they had a couple of options open and Terry McLaurin is going to draw defensive pass interference on an uncatchable ball with just a little touch to the shoulder pass interference oh that's such a terrible call and Washington football team is knocking on the door they're about to score a touchdown Reed big hit Leonard Fournette knocks him off and scores all right well, this was not an ideal start to the game. Down 7 nothing to a 79 overall team. Got to knock off the rust a little bit, I guess. But we'll, uh, we'll make this a game. We throw that over the middle. There's a flag. Roughing the passer. Give me an extra 15. That's exactly what it's going to be. Roughing the passer. We have an extra 15 tacked onto the end. Matt Ioannidis was the guilty party. And it is first and 10 from about midfield now. Let's give Teague some work. One carry in this game was a good one. And my left guard didn't block for even a second. That's open. Oh. My quarterback is playing like Schmidt right now. That was wide open. I mean, it doesn't really get more wide open than that. And Schmidt just misses him. You can't miss him in these spots. It's the Super Bowl. You can't. But dude, if 67 doesn't block somebody for another time, I swear I'll bench him. I swear I'll bench him. My left guard, is it Ben Bredesen? He just runs by anyone that he could possibly block. We're rolling out. Are we have space here? We're gonna run. We have to. Vanilla Vic merch link in the description. Teespring. You can get Vanilla Vic merchandise or the versatile weapon stuff, other options as well. Appreciate you guys checking that out. It's awesome to see that you guys are buying these and then wearing them, sending them to me on Twitter. I've been retweeting a lot of you guys, so that is uh, always very much appreciated. I was going to roll out. I see circle. I see it. We're going to throw it. Dennis Peoples, first down. First and goal now from the three. Second and goal. Do we fade Dennis Peoples here? Do we lob it up? Have to. Have to. Peoples! Mosses him! Every Rose has his thorn, and Rose, the corner there, just got beat. Maybe it's a safety. I have no idea. Um, terrible joke. Shout out to Poison for that song, I guess. Brett Michaels. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about? Some of you. Either way, it's 7-7. I don't know what's going on right now, but I never do when I record. Just mindless ramblings that you guys enjoy, thankfully. Or maybe you don't, but you're watching anyway, so who really wins there? It's a run. Miller, big hit. Looks like Jeremiah Langford might have got to him first. Loss of one on the play. We genuinely just cannot be run on for the most part. Like Marlon Mack is the one exception, but generally we just shut most teams down. So I think Leonard Fournette, despite already having a rushing touchdown, is going to have a tough time today. It's going to be a problem to run the football. Their offensive line isn't great other than Brandon Sheriff. It's third and seven. We've been beat through the air a couple times today. Do not want this to be one of those times. And down goes Haskins. It's Chad Brown riding on his back. Haskins couldn't support the weight, falls down. And the football team will punt. Fourth and 13, Tressway kicks it back to Pat Bridge. We might have a chance to take this to midfield. Not quite, but a decent return. Hand off to Teague. I don't know. There's just never anything open on the outside. I think the right move there was to cut it back up the field as we did and just take whatever yards we can. Hold on. What if I moved people's inside? And then... Oh, he only goes to the other side. Okay, well, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to cross him. We'll settle for a drag, and I think Alfonso Peoples might be the first read. I didn't really like it. Ah! I don't. I didn't like anything about what was happening on that one. Third and six. Where do we go with the football here? We just throw that quickly. They had a guy lurking right there, but pressure was coming in despite them only rushing four. And I think we're just going to have to punt. This, is a, this has been not a great start for our offense. Our offense has not looked great today. Obviously, all of that is on me so far. Well, most of it. 
we gotta be better. We just gotta find our groove. We gotta find our groove. The Washington football team, at least defensively, is rising to the occasion. We cannot play down to our competition. And that should be a hold. This one's coming back. Backed up to the eight. We're gonna run a man blitz and send everybody at Dwayne Haskins. And I lined up offsides. Well, there you go. There you go. And down goes Haskins. This time, it's big 69. Clarence Trent taking him down. Dwayne Haskins is starting to feel the pressure a little bit. Sacks on back-to-back -back possessions for them. And they're going to run to the right. You got to get to the outside. Set the edge well enough. But they needed to cover the outside. Playoff Lenny not looking like himself today. Third and 14. Kind of want to blitz again, but we're going to just play more conservatively. And Haskins just throws it away. Oh, we're going to have great field positioning for this one. Pat Bridge takes it to the 43. If we don't get a touchdown here. Also, why did Ben Bredesen look about 5'7"? You guys seen number 67 on the sideline? Jeez. That's wide open. We went to cover the flat, and Troy Weldon's running past everybody. We're inside the red zone. I didn't think that was going to be that effective of a play, but that worked out great. Free safety's blitzing very obviously. Let's, let's get Teague running to the opposite way. Hole opened up a little bit. Take a few. Third and seven. Who's going to get open? Oh, man. <laughs> Pressure came in so hot off the edge. We had no choice but to throw that ball immediately. What happened there? They rush four according to the play art. I mean, David Bakhtiari, my 98-99 overall tackle, just get torched. He gets torched almost immediately. I mean, I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> That's so bad. We'll settle for a field goal try and make that 10 to 7. Not playing well right now. The offense got to wake up. We're in the backfield. We're living there. Demetrius Miller sacks Dwayne Haskins. Decided to blitz my, uh, by myself there and just read the play action. Went after the quarterback in his second and 14. Washington football team in a tough spot now. Go deep. Oh, and he goes down again. Chad Brown records his second sack. And we are getting after Dwayne Haskins. This offensive line just isn't good enough. My defensive line, my front seven in general, is very, very good. I mean, you guys have seen the team. The team's very good in general. But it's like they just don't have the guys to, to block elite defensive linemen. And they're going to punt for like the third or fourth time already. Play action. I want Weldon here. Nah, I can't. I just waited too long. Davis with the sack. We're just calling bad times for play action, I guess. I mean, if you figure on first down, you might be able to get them. But now we're set up second and 20. They're blitzing a lot of guys. I don't know where to go with the football. Nothing's open. There are man coverage with guys that just should not be able to hang with my receivers. And yet they're staying right on them. Rolling out, throwing for Weldon, and we're just going to have to punt. Probably just should have lobbed Peoples over the top. Instead of rolled out. and Their man coverage is really holding up well. Oh, user sack. Brought down Dwayne Haskins. Accidentally stuck on Jeremiah Langford. Wasn't a problem. Got in there for my second sack of the game. The first for Jeremiah Langford. Second and 19. Screen! Screen! We need somebody to make a play right now. We did well enough there. They did get six. But we'll allow that when it sets up third and 14. Just keep them inside. Inside the first down marker. There we go. That'll take us probably to the two-minute warning. And we need a touchdown. Not because, oh man, like we're going to lose the game if we don't. But we need a touchdown for morale to pick up the spirits a little bit. Like, we're just sucking right now. And I think uh, I'm a big reason why, but Pat Bridge has the edge. Pat Bridge 
Gets tackled, but a very nice return. Using some speed there. First and 10. Peoples. Wide open. Good throw. And he's going to outrun 35. Break a tackle, and he's down to the 15. Got to get Dennis Peoples involved. He's our one touchdown of the game. And he's the best player on the team. It'd be stupid not to get him involved. Hold on. Tavarius Givens looks really nice here on this skinny post. He's not open the way I wanted him to be. We're just going to throw it away. I don't think anyone's getting open. Maybe short throws are the way to do it. They have two guys in the A-gap. We just quick throw Troy Weldon. We're going to lob it up. Troy Weldon bodied him. Boxed him out. Went up like a basketball player and made the catch. Got the rebound. Touchdown, Desperados. We're up 17 to 7, pending the extra point. And we drill it. That's going to be open shallow. Terry McLaurin breaks a tackle. Jameel Holloman makes sure he can't go much further. Go shallow. I played it way too shallow, and it's uh, giving up a catch there. Giving up a first down. 42 seconds to play here in half number one. Washington football team looks like they're putting together a nice little drive here. And that is another consecutive completion for Dwayne Haskins. This looks like it's going to end with a touchdown, probably. It's not good. Oh, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That's on me. Oh, man. They run streaks so sparingly in this game that you think you can afford to play underneath and take away, like, the comeback route or whatever that was on the inside. It's a, it's a good play. It's a good play. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm using Demetrius Miller here. We'll zoom out so we get the idea of what I was doing here. So, you know, I just saw Leonard Fournette go down and uh, didn't realize what my coverage was and, and obviously went away from my deep zone to try and take that away. And no one had the, the backside because that's where I'm supposed to be. Just a great throw from Dwayne Haskins at all the time in the world. And I'm just not where I'm supposed to be. Can we get that in there? It's going to have to be a tough play for Devarius Givens. Doesn't make it. Third and ten. Over the middle. Peoples! Nice catch. We're going to call a timeout. We have six seconds. Can we somehow manage to get in a field goal range? I don't know. That's going to be... Oh, Dennis Peoples is in the zone. Hold on. What do we do there, then? Do we just throw it up to him? I think that's probably the best idea. I think... But how do I take the safety away? I need single coverage. We'll see. I don't really like anything. We're going to check down. Teague. We're from the 47. Can we possibly manage to kick a field goal from this range? I don't think so. This is like, what? 70 yards? 64 yards? Do we have the wind? Looks like we do. This is makeable. Joey Sly. From 64 is accurate. Does it have the leg? No. 99 kick power. Not quite enough to get it there. The win wasn't enough. And we are headed to the third quarter, kicking off. We gave it a good try, but it just didn't get there. Play action. Playing shallow again. And we should have been even shallower. Orlando Holiday allows the catch underneath. And Washington football team, to their credit, like they're playing extremely well. I know the sliders are pretty tough and it'll make any team look good, but Washington football team is looking pretty good right now. And Leonard Fournette breaks another tackle and gets to the 39. Run up the middle. Ooh, nice play there by Big 69. Clarence Trent stopping Fournette in his tracks. We're holding on to a three-point lead. Keep them out of field goal range. No touchdowns, obviously, too. And I just got I just got beat again. 
They have two touchdowns because I just go shallow and I get beat over the top. No team throws over the top in this game, yet it's the Super Bowl, and then suddenly the opposing quarterback gets aggressive. I, it's, it's another huge mistake by me. By me, I suck. Usually I'm uh, excellent on defense. Playing safety is just a whole different ball game than middle linebacker. Well, at least this game's going to be interesting. We are down by four here. Getting later and later into this football game. Middle through the third quarter right now. We got we to gotta start scoring some points. I'm going deep. Peoples has double me. And he makes the catch. Double me is amazing. I get to be stupid. I get to roll out. I get to lob it deep. And I get Dennis Peoples to bail me out. The hero of Jaguars franchise. Of Desperado's franchise now. 6.9 seconds to throw. Nice. 60 yards in the air. And Peoples just mosses Landon Collins. What are you going to do? Nothing. Oh, also Schmidt has Bazooka now. He can throw the ball over the mountains like Uncle Rico. I mean, I'm looking at one guy. Matthew Wayne. Couldn't haul it in. Play action. We get that in there. Over the middle. Laser beam for Dennis the Menace. What a throw from Matthew Schmidt. Is that what Bazooka can do? Can I fit the ball through any window that I want? I mean, that was just too easy. Schmidt right over Ruben Foster. And then look at Dennis People or Dennis Peoples making it work in the back of the end zone. That is awesome. They're going to review it. I don't know how you could overturn this one. But then again, the game sucks. So anything's possible. I mean, it looks like you got two and then a third two there and then maybe a third when he got a weird animation hopefully it's going to count it I don't know how you could overturn this no it's going to be a touchdown we're going to take the lead 24 21 and something tells me much to the dismay of the commenters that the rest of this game might be the Dennis Peoples show deep third now here's a run up the middle for net just powering through everybody Washington football team just a field goal away from tying things up. Actually, let me switch this so I can play the hook with Miller over the middle. And then I can get super aggressive down in the box like that. But Fournette just fought for it. And I probably, I think he got it. He did. First down. Oh, I, I, am I that bad right now? <laughs> Fournette just makes the most casual step over. And, uh... I don't, I don't even know. I just got fooled again. Am I okay? Run again. Fournette. This lowers the shoulder. It's looking like LSU Leonard Fournette right now. It's actually running powerfully. Run. Miller. Big hit and the ball comes out. It's recovered by Luke Townsend. And suddenly all is forgiven. Every single mistake I've made is erased. Forget that they scored 14. We have forced a fumble with Demetrius Miller, stopping them from scoring yet another touchdown. And here we are with a big time position to pull ahead by more than one possession. Lob it. There we go. Teague is not on the field even. I, I don't know. Alfonso Peoples catches it. Thought that said 34, not 84. There we go, Alfonso. We have that. We have that. Peoples burn him over the top. And he holds on. Bazooka is my new favorite. We can just throw the ball as far as I want every time. And Dennis Peoples stacks him over the top. It's a money matchup to take advantage of. And that's exactly what we do. He just burns him. Pressure was coming in. Didn't step up in the pocket. Just let it fly. And Matthew Schmidt drops it in the bucket to Dennis the Menace. How bad is this run going to be? Back-to-back -back run attempts. I hate 
second and nine plus runs, and that's exactly what this is from, you know, end goal. But it's a good one. Sets up third and very short. Do we try yet another run here? I think we do. End the third quarter. Should be a touchdown. Edward Teague finds the end zone. That's far from the dagger, but it's a really good way to go up. 31-21 should be the score. And that could be enough to win the game. Up by 10 points. I think it might be. You need the whole fourth quarter. Have to see what happens. Third and one. They're going to run. And Fournette just goes right through Chad Brown. Over the middle. And that is caught very close to the first down. And it is second and one. Didn't have quite enough to get it. Washington football team, they got to hurry up. There is still time, but they cannot afford to be slow here. As Fournette stays in bounds, makes a juke move, breaks a tackle. Playoff Lenny's a different breed. Over the middle. How is that open? Bob Claxton throws off Justin Reed, and WFT has the ball on the 10. Is that a touchdown? Wow. Roth into the end zone. I don't know on what planet he got the ball across the plane there. I have no idea. Because he stopped for, like well short. He just, he just falls forward and gets it. All right. Still have Bazooka activated. Quick slant. Oh, that's just such a laser beam from Matthew Schmidt. We're holding on to a three-point lead. 340 yards passing. I wonder how many of those are Dennis Peoples. Probably 200. Something like that. So we're going to get this ball to Eddie Teague. Up the middle. Maybe for a gain of nine. Another run. Teague. We don't need anything big. Just chew the clock. Sticks to sticks. First down to first down. We'll continue to run the football. Teague, that's a good run. That's a good run. Eat some clock. Third and six. Got to throw the ball now. We're rolling out. We're going to run. Schmidt, easy first down. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Vanilla Vic at it again. Here's another run. John Carson this time. The big running back. Teague cutting it up the middle. These are good runs. And he's injured. Okay, cool. Carson will change of direction. And just power through him. Teague, low back strain. It's a Super Bowl. Bring him back on the field. Second and five. Get your second touchdown of the game, Eddie. It's just really not anywhere to go. Third and four. Quick throw. Weldon, touchdown. That could be the dagger. Second receiving touchdown of the game for Troy Weldon. We are up by 10. A minute to play. No timeouts for Washington football team. This could be a Super Bowl for the Austin Desperados in just their second year of existing. Another check down. You don't want to go over the middle in this spot. We'll allow that. We'll allow that all the day. Because, 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 because they're going to have 30 seconds on the clock now. And, like, congrats. The game's over. You got to go deep. You got to stretch the field. And they're just not doing it. Now they're going deep. Orlando Jones just got torched by Scary Terry. Oh, they're, now they're stretching the field. All right, 57-yard touchdown. We have a deep third over there, and Orlando Jones just got torched. Onside kick. If we get it, the game's over. And we get it. We should be able to just take one knee and win the Super Bowl. It's a great effort from Washington football team, but they're going to come up just short in one of the more interesting Super Bowl games of all time. 
Three point victory. We just managed to hold on in the end. And that will do it. The Austin Desperados are Super Bowl champions here in Miami. Dwayne Haskins. I, I mean, can anyone believe that? <laughs> can anyone believe that? That is wild. But this is what you play for. I think Matthew Schmidt has got to be your Super Bowl MVP. I threw a dumb interception, but it has to be him. Troy Weldon had two touchdowns. Edward Teague, I think, had two touchdowns. Pretty sure. Dennis Peoples with one, but also had, like, maybe 200 yards receiving. I think you give it to Matthew Schmidt, though. Threw for three touchdowns, over 300 yards. Super Bowl winning quarterback. It's kind of how that goes. No, Dennis Peoples caught two touchdowns. That's right. So Schmidt probably threw for four then. They're going to give it to Dennis Peoples. Eight catches for 225 yards and two touchdowns. Your Super Bowl MVP is a receiver. Dennis the Menace. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. That shocks me. That really surprises me. But I'm happy about it. So we're going to have Edward Teague, Dennis the Menace, Jameel Holloman, and Matthew Schmidt hoist the Lombardi here in Miami. What a game. What a season. And possibly what a series. We'll see what happens with this. I know the interest is there for a lot of you guys still, but we'll have to see what happens. Four touchdowns for Matthew Schmidt. I'm shocked he didn't get it. Four touchdowns, one interception, threw for 345 yards. Quarterback rating over 120 and just doesn't get it. Again, that's so surprising. Dennis the Menace had a very good game. I made sure Bob Claxton did one way or another accidentally. Troy Weldon got involved a little bit. Edward Teague, Alfonso Peoples with a couple of catches. And then defensively, our D-line played really well in the first half. And then in the second half, I don't think they got anything. No interceptions. And then a big force fumble by Demetrius Miller, recovered by Luke Townsend. Very interesting game. But we got the result we wanted in the end. We do have some upgrades here. We'll show off the ones for Jeremiah Langford and Luke Townsend as they were starters. Langford should be up near 90 finesse moves after this upgrade. Let's see what he gets. Plus one finesse moves up to an 89. And then Luke Townsend should go up. What do we want here? Probably get zone coverage up a little bit higher. Brings them up to an 89 overall. Plus two zone coverage. Make him the more complete corner. Very good player. And either way, whether that is the end of the series or the end of the season, I don't know just yet. But we will simulate to the offseason and then start making some decisions in the coming days, weeks, in real life time. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this on Twitter as well as the comment section below. And hopefully I see you guys over on my second channel. Link in the description. And I appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Take it easy.